Hi there and welcome back to another Etsy tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about how to make that retro wavy design for different print on demand things like t-shirts and cups and all kinds of fun things. So if you're new here, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We are going to get started on this tutorial and hopefully it should be pretty quick and easy to follow. The first thing we're doing is we are going into Canva. If you haven't used Canva or you would like a free trial of Canva, go ahead and click the link in the description box and it will take you over to Canva. I don't have a affiliate code or anything, so I'm not making money off of it. If you decide to use the products that I'm using, go ahead and click on them and they will work for you. Now we are going to be making our design. I'm currently working on a Christmas design because the Christmas season is getting ready to happen. So I'm working on this shirt that says Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas and I'm going to have a couple of different designs on top of it. But first I need to make sure that I get that wavy text look. So I've made sure that I have this in all caps and I've made everything really close together. That's how I like it to look for all of my text designs, but you are free to do whatever you want. It will work in any font, any picture, anything that you'd like to use. This tutorial will still work. So to save time, I did go ahead and make my design. If you have any questions about how I made it, I'm more than happy to answer them or make another video to show you how I did it. So we've got this design, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas, and we are going to click share at the top and download. We want to make sure that this is a transparent background and a PNG file. So I'm clicking download and we are going to download this file. Once we have the file downloaded, we are going to go to a website called Photopea and this is what it looks like. Again, I'll leave the link in the description box for you if you'd like to use it. So we are going to open from our computer and we are going to click on the file that we are going to be using, which will import it over into the Photopea editor. Now select the file that we're using or whatever image, if you have multiple images on here, you'll want to select the layer that we are working with and that's going to select all of this text. Now we are going up to edit and down to transform and warp. So this is edit, transform, warp. Now when that happens, you'll see nothing really happens on the screen, but it did put this box around our text. And that is good because that's what we want to edit. So now that that's happened, we can go up here and there's a little box that says none. These are all of our different warp options. So there's kind of two options here for the wavy design. The one that everybody sees on Etsy is usually this wave pattern, but there is also the flag. You can see how they differ a little bit. So this is a big box where the text is. If you click on wave, it's going to maintain that shape but make everything within that box wavy. And if you do flag, the whole box is going to be flag shaped. So I don't know if that makes sense, but you can visually see the difference between the two. So we are clicking on wave and voila, it gives us that wavy text appearance. Now you can also change this. So if this is too wavy or you don't really like where this bubbles up, you can click on this bend option and you can either type in a percentage or if you click this arrow, it will allow you to have a little slider and you can slide all of this around till you find a spot that you like, just like this. So I think I like maybe like this. I think that looks good for the design that I'm trying to make. So now that I've completed it, we are going to go to file, export as and PNG. That's going to allow us to maintain that transparent background. We are going to hit save and this will save into our downloads folder. Now we can go back over to our Canva page and if you want you can just delete out the text if you're not going to need it anymore or you can start a new file. I'm just going to delete out my text and upload our file. Now you can see I've also tried to do this with a um, non-capitalized version. So this is the first letter of each word is capital and the rest are lowercase. I didn't like that as much, so I went ahead and I did it with all caps and I think that I like how this looks so much better. And that's what I've used for the tutorial. So now you've got that awesome wavy text that you see 
all the time on Etsy, and I hope that this has been helpful to you. Please let me know what you think of this video. Give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you have any more questions or anything that I can answer about Etsy, Canva, or just how to make print-on-demand products, please let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye!